Well, talking about support, there's not a lot of support for this man right now, Jonathan Majors. So Jonathan Majors, everybody, I want to get into this for a second because a lot of news came out here the past couple days with Jonathan Majors. So before his PR actual manager dropped him, his old PR team dropped him, and now his managing company, uh, Entertainment 360, just dropped him too because of what happened with the allegations of you know abuse, of violence against his girlfriend or his friend. They still haven't really put that to bed. I think it's his girlfriend. It's definitely his and girlfriend. It, yeah, I know, but they're still going back and forth about it. But it's definitely, yeah. You know, in the March, you know, March 25th, he was arrested and all this went down. They said all this evidence has come out. They're going to be like supporting that he was innocent. Nothing happened. The text messages came out. We talked about that, how they kind of seemed a little not really sure about, you know, he's going to actually appear before a judge on May 8th. But on top of that, too, it's not just like his managing company and his PR team dropping him. On top of that, he was dropped from starring and executive producing. Uh, a, a movie called Man in My Basement with Willem Dafoe. He was cut from the Texas Rangers MLB ad campaign that was going to debut on Friday. He's no longer in consideration to star in an Otis Redding project, but he was attached to. And also he was attached to play Dennis Rodman in a biopic. And he was dropped from that too. And they're looking for new people on top of that. And it's like that. And then there's also like, he was supposed to go to like a, a Met Gala and they asked him not to come and they mutually decided for him not to go. So the fact is like, Everyone is really just pushing themselves away from the man right now. And it's like, what's going to happen? My question for us today is, is can he come back from this? Regardless if he's proven innocent, can he come back from this after everyone's dropping him like flies? And, you know, Willie Morris Endeavor is still representing him, but will they drop him soon? That's the question. What do you think, Sean? You've been here to talk about this. What do you think about this whole situation with Kang the Conqueror? <laughs> yeah, you just got to <laughs> throw it back into Marvel and remind me. There. Um, I, I, I have to. It's, you know, obviously there's a lo still a lot of information unknown about this whole situation. Um, you know, I, I don't want to speak out of turn here, but I do feel like that there, what I, what I've read and what I've seen, it's just, we're not obviously getting the whole story yet. And I think people are cautiously, obviously don't want to invest too much because he has been such this meteoric rise in the last couple of years. I mean, the, the, the big things that he did with Creed three and, and then and right, right, right back to back with Ant-Man and the Wasp and then his whole plan. I mean, there's an entire season of Loki two shot with him anyway. Like, mm -hmm. what are you going to do with that? Um, it's tough. It's a really tough situation. Uh, I, w I would, I really enjoyed him as an actor. I would love to continue to support him, but obviously I can't do that if, if uh, allegations are true and, and what happened happened. Um, that's just the way, the way it goes, unfortunately. Yeah. And then people like, you know what, the Marvel thing, they haven't waited on it yet. And that's been kind of, kind of like this right now, because, you know, deadlines saying that they haven't discussed it at all, but I've, I've heard from multiple other sources that they've had conversations about it because they have to start thinking about that, you know? Yeah. End of the day, like he's a big part of this new phase of MCU. So it's like, what do you do? I, I mean, I just say if you're going to recast him, get Denzel Washington. That's what I say. Get Denzel in there. Make Kang a little bit older. <laughs> Denzel could know. do a hell of a job as a Kang, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think so, too. <laughs> uh yeah i mean it's just it's just interesting oh uh, then chat they know jake our uh, uh justin justin roland was equated acquitted oh yeah you never you never know you know the thing is like you never know what's going to happen and maybe he'll be acquitted and everything will be fine and, and he'll, everything will be fine marvel's not going to jump the gun on this a lot of people aren't of course this pr team they were saying like you know it's a it's well, like a breach of trust with them yeah. you know so they need to know everything up front and they didn't know it so that's not good I think I think Marvel is playing this slowly because of how they handled James Gunn's controversy, um, you know, uh, and how they kind of jumped the gun. Uh -huh, James Gunn oh, jumped yeah. the gun. You know, like like I think I think that's also making them a little cautious. And he is a huge part of the next huge four years at least of Marvel content. The whole cinematic universe kind of revolves around Jonathan Majors Kang and. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's they've yeah. made the investment there. It's it's going to be hard to see what happens. But it's going to re it's, it's a tough call and you don't want to do like jumping into it fast, you know? Good point with gun. Yeah, yeah, you, you just don't want to jump on it too fast. That's the thing. Sabrina, you, you you know, we've been talking about this before. What do you think? Do you think that, you know, William Morris Endeavor's going to drop him? Do you think he's going to stay king after all this? Like people are already dropping him or do you think they're going to wait? I mean, I don't know. Honestly, it's the it's kind of the world we live in when you're in the public eye like that, that people are going to react this way to something uh, of this magnitude. And I'm obviously 
don't know whether he's innocent or guilty. Only he and that woman knows. Um, but I mean, it just, it just doesn't look good for somebody like, you know, representing a brand and as an actor, you are your brand. But I mean, like Valentino being like, you're not going to come to the Met Gala and, you know, like any ad campaigns that he was doing, you know, with the NFL or um, MLB or an, the whatever. Army one, too, or the, the Army. Was. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, yeah. He was a big, big part of this new uh, army. And they drop that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's you. You don't want somebody in question whether he is innocent or guilty representing your brand until that's all figured out. So that you know, make sense. People are protecting their brand, you know, but, uh, at the same time he is his brand. So I don't know how it's going to turn out. If, I mean, honestly, if I'm, if I'm being perfectly honest, the text that the lawyer released that would exonerate him quote unquote really made him seem more guilty in my opinion. Um, I am not a jury of his peers. I am not in that courtroom. I have no idea what happened. Um, and until it's worked out, I think things will be very simmered down for him. Um, if he is exonerated, I'm sure things will pick back up. I, I don't think that uh, Marvel is going to uh, rush to recast him. I think they're going to play this out because, like Sean said, they have uh, completed a whole other season of Loki. They set him up to be King the Conqueror in, you know, several other movies. Like, that's pretty much like their whole phase is, it's a lot. you know, centered around King. Yeah. So um, if I'm being perfectly honest, uh, I, I vote for Denzel. Um, I, I like him as King. I, I just feel like he's young and I feel like he's very William Shatnery about it. Like all of his dialogue is very like, he'll say a couple words and then take a long pause and then say a couple more words, which, you know, works for the Shat, but I don't know if it works for the majors. I'm just saying. Um, so I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Uh, if he didn't do it, I am very sorry that all of this is happening to him. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, me it's too. Like an Amanda Heard type situation because she should sure. definitely rot in hell. Um, that that's awful, and I hope that he, you know, makes a extreme, wonderful, fucking successful comeback. But from the way things look and the information um, that is available, it to me it, it looks like it's probably skewing. in, unfortunately, yes, the shot, the shot, as in Shatner, the shot. Um, also, yeah, the chat said too that I don't think the MCU fans would be too upset about recasting him. Like they'll get over it. Yeah. I mean, it's still early. I mean, day, but it's still, still content. Yeah, yeah, it's still content. You know, and it's the multiverse, so you could still be like, well, it's a different version of him. You know, they've done that with yeah, but the they Spider showed too. at the end of Ant Man, they showed three hundred and seventy-five kings, they they did, and they all they had shit the bed. Matt, so that's that, kind of shit in the bed. You know? <laughs> Weird. That's gonna be yeah. Somebody that's gonna be the one touching that and making three hundred and seventy five Denzel Washingtons. Uh, that's, gonna, that's gonna take a long time. <laughs> I'm okay. into it though. Mm -hmm. All I right. am into mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can see. <laughs> oh, you want to get out of this quantum realm? Oh, oh, oh you do. You, you want to get in here? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, Ant Man. Come here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I can see it. That'd be awesome. I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, though, it's just like if you know if he did do this, if the allegations are correct, then yes, you have to take these measures. People are jumping on it. People jump on it right away once something happens. And the, and the public opinion, the eye of the public opinion, people are going to still think he's guilty regardless if he's innocent now. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in right now. And it's probably going to affect his whole career, I think, regardless of the fact, just because of it's, – it's tough to come back from something like this. I hope if he didn't do it, then he can and that it won't I mean, affect honestly, his career because he like, was soaring. You know, he was soaring right now. So – and that would really the suck. Way that those it really text suck. Messages bad. read. I doubt that this woman is going to press charges anyway. So he's probably going to be exonerated in some way, shape, or form, whether he's guilty or not, which is also oh. unfortunate. But it's also yeah, going well. to be a, a campaign of rebuilding the public's trust. Or rebuilding, For sure. Yes. You know, and it, it, regardless of what happens, it's not going to be the same that he was, and he's going to have to fight like hell to get back.